Hi, this message is for students who are currently taking psychology classes at NIU. My name is Amanda Durek, and I serve as the chair of the Department of Psychology. And I am just reaching out to provide a few thoughts about my experiences over the past few weeks and related to learning and teaching online and to share with you some of the things that I've heard from others, both students and instructors, that might be helpful. So first, as we're all struggling with our new reality at the present time, I wanted to just um, suggest that it may be helpful to take some time to remind yourself why it's important for you to be a student and what your, what your goals are and why it's valuable to you. When things are as uncertain as they are at the present time, that might be a stabilizing force for you in organizing what you're trying to accomplish and your goals and so that you can um, organize your behavior around them. Uh, second, I wanted to um, highlight to you the importance of uh, reading all of the messages that you're getting from instructors these days. Right now, there's more information that's coming in written form than used to, that used to just come in a lecture where there'd be announcements at the start of class. Um, and there might still be, but the emails that are being written or the announcements that are posted on Blackboard are really critical for the things that are coming up to stay on track as we finish out the end of the semester. And I just wanted to remind you that it really takes time to read those kinds of emails. Um, it takes time to focus on them, maybe take some notes on them and go back to them rather than receiving an email and kind of going through it quickly. Um, do read those carefully and at a time when you're able to, to focus on them. Um, my third thought is um, I know that instructors have been working really hard to develop materials to support student learning during this time while we're away from each other. And these tools come in a lot of forms. They're online lectures. They may be uh, notes from instructors about the content. There could be worksheets or guidelines or assignments. And I just wanted to highlight that these are tools, they're learning tools so that you can practice the ideas and practice the skills that are part of the course. So even when a worksheet, for example, is not going to be submitted for a grade, it doesn't mean that it's not important in the sense that the instructor designed it to help you learn. So I urge you to take the time to know those tools and to really use them thoroughly because those are the best guides for what the goals are for the course and what the instructor hopes that you learn in the process of the semester. Um, finally, I just wanted to point out that, uh, that NIU has a, a real nice website for students. It's called um, keep learning at niu.edu. And, um, and it's not only about learning online, that's certainly a big portion of it, but it's also has a lot of resources related to well-being more generally, campus resources that have been now made more remote, remote and those kinds of things. So um, if you are struggling for, with various uh, challenges right now, I urge you to reach out to those resources and at least know what they are so that when you need them or if you need them, they're available to you. Um, it includes tutoring resources and other things. So I do encourage you to uh, visit that website and use it and seek help. Um, I think it's really important that we reach out to each other. Um, finally, um, it's all of our hopes that this is over soon and that we are seeing this in the past as soon as possible. Um, and I, I just want to remind you that when you look back at this time, um, that hopefully you're also going to remember that you were learning during that time and that there were classes that you were investing yourself in. And perhaps it's a good distraction from other things. Um, I know that learning may be challenging, at the present time, uh, but it's worth the investment uh, because after this is over, what you will have is what you've learned over this time in your classes as well as more broadly, certainly. But I urge you to invest your time that you have, I know it may be limited, um, in doing the things that are important to you. So with that, um, I'll try, I've tried to keep this brief. Thank you for listening. And I really hope that you, your family and your friends and your community um, are doing as well as possible and staying safe and healthy. So thanks for listening, and I hope that you have a good day.